It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. More recently, Walt Disney Studios decided to announce their new service called Disney Plus, which essentially has all the Disney shows and all the Disney movies into one place. And I kind of find it fascinating, mostly because Disney actually has the rights to Hulu, which has like non-Disney stuff. But I'm pretty sure they want to make money one way or the other. So what happened was that they announced the original seasons of The Simpsons onto their service. And it turns out from various fan reports that The Simpsons for the original seasons are presented in 16x9 and they're not presented in 4x3. Now, for the original seasons of The Simpsons, they were filmed entirely in 4x3. However, the newer seasons were filmed in 16x9 in high definition. This whole entire controversy about Disney cropping the original seasons of The Simpsons reminded me so much about what happened with Dragon Ball Z. So what happened in 2007 was that Funimation decided to lease the whole entire seasons for Dragon Ball Z onto DVD. They were like in these orange like brick uh box set whatever and what happened was that they cropped the whole entire show from like 4x3 to 16x9 and not only that but they also had like massive DNR which kind of screwed up the film quality of the pictures there were like a lot of pixelation in those sets and so this whole entire situation about like a company trying to crop the original aspect ratio from 4x3 to 16x9 is not anything new to me Look guys, I understand that we live in a time where we have like 60 inch TVs or 70 inch TVs or in some cases 80 inch TVs. I understand that part. I understand that basically the majority of the movies that we have nowadays are shot entirely in 16 by 9. I understand that. However, back in the past, like movies were shot in a various aspect ratios. They were shot in 4 by 3 sometimes, they were shot in 16 by 9 sometimes, and so I think that the best way to present a movie or a TV show from that period is to showcase the show and the original aspect ratio. Like how hard is it to present something that was shot in a certain way? All you need to do is just clean up the film elements and just present the show or the movie and the original aspect ratio. Like this is not hard. This is not rocket science. It's totally possible to do that. Like there are so many companies out there like Criterion Collection or these other kind of major labels onto DVD or Blu-ray that present the original aspect ratios for movies. So how could Disney screw up this aspect of the original seasons for The Simpsons? Besides screwing up the original season of The Simpsons, Disney also announced that if a person were to download a show or a movie and that they no longer had the right to the show or movie, the person cannot actually keep the download that they had. So let me get this straight. A person can use your service, a person can download the movie or the TV show onto their phone, onto their tablet, or whatever, but if they don't have the rights, a person cannot still use that TV show or that movie on their phone? Are you serious? Like, what kind of nonsense is this? Like, if I purchase something, like, for, like, every month, like, it's, like, $7 a month, right? For that service, I think. Like, if I purchase that service and I download the movie or the TV show that I purchased for that service... I'm expected to keep it as long as I want to. Like, why should I get rid of my download unless I want to get rid of it? Why should a company dictate how long I should keep something? That seems like a very, very anti-consumer thing to do. Finally, we had the whole entire incident with Gravity Falls. Now, what happened was that the guy with the hat with the Patman symbol on it, they decided to remove the whole entire symbol off the hat because apparently there were some cultures who find it offensive, particularly like Islamic cultures that find it offensive. And it's just so funny because there was like this tweet where the creator of the show, he showed that there are some episodes where they have the symbol on it, and there are some episodes where they don't have the symbol on it. So practically the whole entire show is very inconsistent when it comes to censorship. So in conclusion, we learn that Disney does not care about the original aspect ratio for The Simpsons. 
They don't really care about customer rights when it comes down to downloading stuff like their TV shows or their movies. And of course, they want to censor stuff that they deem to be offensive to other people. In the case for the Gravity Falls show. So yeah, Disney Plus looks really fantastic. I honestly cannot wait to get some censorship. I cannot wait to actually, you know, get crop shows and 60 by 9. I honestly cannot wait to not have the stuff I download on my phone and not watch it. But uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.